Hello to everyone. I am Akansha, dentist in profession and pursuing MBA in healthcare and hospital management from IIHMA University, Jaipur, Rajasthan. First of all, thanks to IGSR, International Journal of Science and Research, to give me a platform to publish my article and opportunity to present my project on Comparative Assessment of Discharge Procedure in Tertiary Hospital under NABH Guidelines. So now it's time to explain my project. So in this project, we include abstract, introduction, aim, objective, literature review, rationale, methodology, findings, data analysis, result, recommendations, and conclusions. Abstract. NABH defines discharge as a process by which a patient is shifted out from the hospital with all concerned medical summaries, ensuring stability. Discharge process in hospital is one of the protracted procedure. Time taken in discharge procedure by various hospitals is an important indicator of quality of care and patient satisfaction. To compare discharge procedure of various hospitals by analyzing tech that is turned around time through NABH standards to improvise or increase patient satisfaction is the aim of this project. In methodology, the study was observed by total number of 60 and 40 percent of the patient that are taken from general medicine and general surgery department of the hospital and compare it with the NABH AAC that is access assessment and continuity of care number 13 and 14. In the motion study, as we know, it is a straight and steady observation of a task using a various parameter like stopwatch, video, so that we can record time taken for the procedure. The study was implemented in the hospital of 300 bedded hospital in Pune city. As a recommendation, we recommend an appropriate changes should be considered for the further improvement. Introduction. Discharge procedure can be defined as the process of activities that involves the patient and the team of individual from various disciplines working together to facilitate the transfer of patient from one environment to another. The patient and their relatives or family members are anxious to restart their routine life as soon as possible. It is very important to know that the procedure is directly related to patient satisfaction level and any type of delay will no doubt have direct effect on it and will also affect the hospital value even if there is a fortunate treatment. As per NABH, discharge is a process by which a patient is shifted out from the hospital with all the concerned medical summaries ensuring stability. The discharge process is deemed to have started when the consultant formally approved discharge and ends with the patient leaving the clinical unit. After gone through an article by Dr. K.K. Kalara, CEO of NABH, we observed that 79,000 hospitals that includes private and public, only 1,000 hospitals are there, those are applied for NABH and are reviewed for it. This there is a website of NABH and the constituent board of the Quality Council of India made to run the program of accreditation in healthcare field. This is not good response. We should take a step on this and NABH said that it was the time we should move from optional to compulsory. For discharge procedure in hospital, NABH has some guidelines for documentation and time taken for the procedure. They have set a standard of 180 minutes for com completing process of discharge. Therefore, if we maintain this level of time, we achieve better patient satisfaction or made a well-organized hospital system. Now the study is taken out by using following consideration to examine and record the time taken by whole process to compare the average time taken in process with NABH standards to recommendations on findings. The figure showing a discharge process flow in which the first step is the confirmation of discharge from consultant then the preparation of the cumulative hospital charges for the patient. Final cumulative charge sheet of the patient sent to the cashier. Then a preparation and process of final will that will be taken in cash account, company or the TPA insurance. Then verification of the respective payer. Inform respective ward by the cashier once the bill is ready. Aim of the project is to compare discharge procedure of various hospitals by analyzing TET that is turn around time through NABH standard to improvise or increase the patient satisfaction. 
ऑब्जेक्टिव टू स्टडी द एक्सिस्टिंग सिस्टम ऑफ डिस्चार्ज प्रोसेस ऑफ पेशेंट टू कंपेयर द प्रोसेस विद एनएबीएच स्टैंडर्ड एंड एवेल्यूएशन ऑफ इट टू रिकमेंड द सुटेबल सजेशन फॉर इम्प्रूविंग द पेशेंट सेटिस्फेक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू सिल्वा इट हैव बीन सीन डेट मेनी ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल आर नॉट फॉलोइंग विद एन एच स्टैंडर्ड इवन दे आर एग्रेडेटेड विद एन एच एंड मोर देन डेट द इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसिडरेशन ऑब्जर्व डेट अप्रोक्सीमेट एटी परसेंट ऑफ हॉस्पिटल आर अंडर प्रोसेस फॉर एन एच एग्रेडेशन मेनी साइंटिस्ट सच एस सतीश हैव इंक्लूडेड इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट डेट हॉस्पिटल पर्सनल involve identify the main factor affecting average waiting time as patient's financial problem and distance distance between the different wards we have included the three study in which we have taken the three different different hospitals study design study 1 is of observational study 2 is cross sectional and study 3 is a observational type of study taken in 250 bedded multi specialty hospital of ludhiana period of study in study 1 we take 3 months of duration in study 2 we take a 1 month duration and in study 3 we take a data was collected from may june 2017 sampling in study 1 the sample has been taken of total 700 case for study in study 2 it is about 300 patients are taken and for study 3 randomly data is collected by observing 270 discharge patient from different wards to record their process for further study data collection in study 1 the data is qualitative as well as the quantitative data in study 2 it is only quantitative data in which time will be recorded for all type of procedure in study 3 the evaluate timing including discharge intimation time billing card submission time and etc various findings has been taken of the different hospitals there is existing qualitative and quantitative data on which we are going to analyze by comparing it with nabh and then interpret that is following the nabh standards were given improvement in patient satisfaction or not so in first the data will be observed as following in table 1 by the patient in given time period this procedure in hospital undergo a step wise process in comparison with the nabh standard the overall interpretation of this is that the data collected time taken for the discharge procedure will take more time when not done with the proper organized guideline of nabh so it is important to do the procedure under guidelines to improve the patient satisfaction another findings interpreted this graph of data clearly depicts that the average time for each step of all type of patient are much larger than the nbh standard as we know the nbh standard is take about 180 minutes and here an individual patients take 278 minutes insured patient takes 337 minutes the patient against medical advice taken 302 minutes also one more observation was that the time taken for the insured patient is the highest one another graph interpreted that the data show is increased average turn around time in discharge intimation to hand over the patient and in discharge intimation to room vacancy so if they are followed by any bh guidelines there is proper documentation and thus reduction in turn around time and improve the patient satisfaction will be seen after analyzing these studies we evaluate the data by this diagram that is known as the ishikawa diagram to show the cause of delay in discharge process and to identify the factor causing an overall effect so we came up with this tool in the management system the cause is the lack of standardized policy and procedure lack of commitment less coordination among departments in hospital information system is the severe problem patient no cooperative that is there is no cooperation of the patient with the doctors differ at last minutes and talk take time to fill in the form process is too slow not proper organized and poor scheduling communication may there be is a language problem and a lack of information doctors not available for final signatures rounds at irregular time is not there and advising a cross consultation on the discharge day is important the various recommendations for the proper discharge process all the department of hospital should make a well organized plan for distribution of staff patient ratio all the number must be aware of nbh standard there should be enough strict environment for following the nbh standard 
all the health care should make organized way plan for training for all the health workers should take patient feedback their family member feedback and then go through the issue an administrator of hospital themselves undergone with the time motion study to understand implement the procedure for the further improvement conclusion the discharge process is complex process and the main process it is the process of activities that involve the patient and the team of individuals from various discipline working together to facilitate the transfer of patient from one environment to the another the patient and their relatives are impatiently waiting for the time to go to home or discharge from hospital to start their normal life without any due delay in this therefore we should take this step as soon as possible and increase the number of hospitals to be standardized by the nabs to improve the patient satisfaction and make our healthcare better the process of discharging has administrative type clinical type economical legal parameters that are started from the procedure and goes up to the end of it yes accepted many of the process are time consuming like bill process room vacancy or preparation pharmacy department but if they all done with well organized way and under trained medical staff then it can be completed easily under standardized time of nabs and give a better result as the studies are clearly indicate the delay in discharge process we should go through the issue and came up with the solution and must follow the nabh standard for improving our patient satisfaction as early as possible these all are the references i have taken for completing my project thank you